The Insta 361 R just got a huge update. It's one of the biggest updates I've seen for any 360 camera. Here are 14 new features for the Insta 361 R. Number one is an auto tracking webcam. Everyone's using video conferencing these days and now you can use your Insta 361 R as a webcam for better image quality. This feature works for the 4K mod and the 360 mod and it's both for Windows and Mac. All you have to do is install the latest firmware for your Insta 361 R and then change the setting in the USB mode from iOS or Android to webcam. Connect your Insta 361 R via a USB type C cable to your PC or Mac. Even though the camera says connect to your PC, it does work on Mac as well. Well, what's the big deal? A lot of cameras have webcam capability these days. Well, the One R is different because in 4K mod, it has auto tracking. The One R can actually detect and track your face and pan or zoom to keep you in view. It's really amazing. And you can also use the 360 mod. The 360 mod can show two different perspectives at the same time. This is very useful for group meetings. Next, the 4K mod and the 1-inch mod can now save directly to MP4. If you're new to Insta360 cameras, they export to INSV format. This has advantages such as being able to choose the aspect ratio after shooting or being able to change the type of stabilization. Problem with the INSV format is that most video editors can't import it directly. So you first have to export it either from your phone app or from the desktop app. Now with this update, you get the best of both worlds because the 4K mod and one inch mod can now save directly to MP4. So there are two modes here. But the first mode is called basic mode. This is the easiest mode. That means that you'll be able to take your video straight out of your micro SD card and will be stabilized and ready for you to edit in your preferred video editor. Now the disadvantage is that the resolution, frame rate, and stabilization are limited. Resolution is limited to 4K, frame rate is limited to 25 FPS, and the stabilization is going to be less effective. So for best results, use the second mode, which is Pro Mode. In Pro Mode, you have the maximum resolution, maximum frame rate, and you have better stabilization. Now the catch is that the video is not going to be stabilized unless you first process it in the Insta360 phone app or the Insta360 Studio desktop app. There's actually a third alternative, which is to use a video editor, which has an Insta360 plugin. And now there are two of them, which is the next update. Now you know that Adobe Premiere can import INSV files directly. Well, now you can do that too in Final Cut Pro. Launch Insta360 Studio, select your file, and then click on the button that says Use in Final Cut. This will import your file directly into Final Cut. And from Final Cut, you'll be able to choose your stabilization mode and aspect ratio. This is exciting because Final Cut has very good 360 video editing capabilities. Not only that, but Final Cut doesn't have a monthly subscription, unlike Adobe Premiere. FYI, from now until September 17, there's a special sale on the Insta 361R. Check out the link in the description below. Next feature is the new Vivid Color Profile. This makes Insta 361R videos look punchier and more vibrant. They look a little bit more like GoPro's colors, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Here are samples from my friend Fabian from EDR Vlog. If you want an analysis of the 1R update in Espanol, Check out his video. Now the Vivid Color Profile is now the default color profile, but you can switch to the older profile, which is now called Standard. Change color profiles, go to the main screen of your 1R, swipe left to reveal the settings, then tap on this folder looking icon, then tap on Color Profile. In addition to Vivid and Standard Color Profile, you can also use Log Mode if you want the maximum dynamic range and you'll be able to color grade it yourself. Next is PureShot. PureShot is AI-assisted noise reduction for the 4K mod and 1-inch mod photos. How does it compare to Nightshot or DSLR or even your smartphone? 
well, I compared PureShot to my Samsung S10 night shot mode, and I found that PureShot was much more detailed and had less noise. I also compared PureShot to night shot, and to my surprise, I found that PureShot had less noise and more detail than night shot. And finally, I compared the pure shot on the one inch mod to a mirrorless camera, specifically the Sony a7R 4 with the Samyang 14mm f2.8, which has a similar field of view as the one inch mod. To compare them, I stopped down the Samyang 14mm to f8, and I raised the ISO to 800. So the resulting shutter speed was the same as that of the Insta 361R one inch mod. Well, not surprisingly, the Sony came out on top. With these settings, I found that the Sony had much more detail, although the Insta361R 1-inch mod has slightly less noise in shadows. Next is 360 live streaming. The 1R finally has 360 live streaming with the real-time stabilization. Yes, you can move your camera any way you want and it will remain level throughout your 360 live stream. Not only that, but the 1R does this wirelessly you won't need a cable from your 1R to your phone and another new feature is reframe 360 live streaming with 360 live streaming your audience controls the view with reframe streaming you control the view you can change it to any view that you want even a tiny planet and yes it will still be stabilized and yes it is also wireless next is improved audio quality for AirPods and the external microphone. Listen to this. So I have my AirPods on and I'm headed toward the beach. This part is not a lot of people, but there's some wind. How clear is the sound? And you know, I've got my map. Can you hear me? I still prefer the Rode Wireless Go's sound quality, but the AirPods are clear enough to be a viable alternative that's not only more affordable, but also more convenient. And they have one more advantage, which I'm going to talk about next. And that is voice control with your AirPods. Now when you're using your AirPods, you can issue voice commands and your Insta360 1R can respond to them. Take a photo. Start recording. Next, we have a couple of new shot lab templates. One of them is called Giant Jump. And the next template is even cooler. It's called Fly Lapse. It's kind of like a hyperlapse, but it's keyframed to look like you're flying. Next is Aquavision. When you're shooting underwater, oftentimes the colors look very bluish. With Aquavision, there will be a color filter applied automatically that can give you more natural looking colors. Aquavision works with the 4K mod and 1 inch mod videos. It doesn't work with photos. And the good news is that it can work even with older footage. Now, Insta360 has shown sample footage that looks pretty good. Now, I've also tried it with swimming pool videos and I thought the results looked okay. Although, to be honest, I got better results using color grading with Adobe Premiere. But if you're not going to apply any color grading, then Aquavision can help you improve the colors of your video. The next two updates for the one are actually not from Insta360. So first, ND filters for the one R. These are the world's first ND filters for consumer 360 cameras. They also have filters for the 1 inch mod and the 4K mod. If you're not familiar with ND filters, they can help you get long exposures in bright conditions. So for example, this shot of the pier looks pretty ordinary, but when you use a long exposure with an ND filter, then it looks more painterly. Finally, Matterport compatibility. With the new firmware, you'll now be able to use your 1R with Matterport. And if you're thinking about using the 1R as a virtual tour camera, then check out this video. I'll see you in 360.